I bet I already know everything he's gonna say in this video. What's going on? It's Kev Obato again, and we're back with another video. In today's video, we're gonna go over some tips and tricks to help you with your Botticera experience. Some of these you probably already know, some of them you probably didn't, so let's get right into it. This tip helped me out a lot. So we're gonna go into the file manager, you're gonna hover over file, and you're gonna click new tab. That allows you to have two tabs open at the same time. It's easier to transfer files that way if you're going back and forth into a folder over and over again. So here I'll just show how that goes and how much easier it is once you get it set up versus the other option. And like I said, you could go up here and you can click copy or you could go to copy two, which is a little faster than copy, but this way is even faster. We'll right click, we'll copy it, we'll click on our next tab and we'll paste it. And it's really that easy. So I'll let this file transfer over, but what I'll do is I'll actually go in and show you the other method of how you would, you know, do copy to. So if you go over to copy to, then you've got to click on ROMs, you've got to find your folder, and then you've got to click OK. Now you've got to do that over and over again if you're going back and forth to, the, to that folder for some reason. So again, let me show you how fast this is. Copy, click the other tab, right click, paste. It's really easy. It doesn't get any easier than that. All right, now this tip is a game changer for me. You can play games directly off your SD or flash drive. All you've got to do is plug that drive in your computer, go to the game that you want. You go up to edit, you click create link. It's going to bring a pop-up as if you were copying to, but you're going to go to your ROMs. You're going to go to wherever that game's supposed to be. So this is a 3DS game and you're just going to click OK. Now it's instant. It doesn't take any time because it isn't transferring any folders or files. It's just creating a link. So now I'll go and show you that this does indeed work and it's super simple so this allows you to play games off of your hard drive or micro sd card without having to switch your storage to external in the setting so we'll go to 3ds we'll scroll down and you see scribble knots there it's not scraped or anything because we just added it with the create link so we'll open it up and show you that it works and as you can see it's definitely working all right, these tips are gonna be just quick keyboard shortcuts. You have the Alt tab. If you click Alt tab, you can actually go back and forth from different windows. So I'll go in here to the Yuzu app just to show you, and I'll click Alt tab, and it'll let me go back into the File Explorer. Click Alt tab again, and it lets me go back. Another lifesaver is the Alt F4. It force closes any application. Did you know you could add custom background music to Botticera? All you've gotta do is go into your share folder and then go over to music. You drop any MP3s in there and they'll play in the background instead of the default music. All right, staying in the share folder, if you go to the library folder, you can actually add movies or TV shows and pictures into this folder and they'll come in a custom collection on your Botticera home screen. I put a picture in here just as a demonstration, so we'll go to the Botticera home screen and show you what that looks like. So now we have a library collection. And as you can see, here's the picture that I put in the share library folder. Now, this is something that I recently started messing around with. I've tried and used Kodi on different PCs and other systems, but I didn't know that you can use custom builds of Kodi with Botticera. If you know how to use Kodi for your computer, you can do the same or similar with Botticera and have a custom interface and have all your free movies and TV shows. All right, now this is one of the ones that you should know, you better know, and if you didn't know, oh boy, I'm gonna show you today. So you go to your settings and you go to Scraper. By far, best option is to use Screen Scraper. In order to do that, you need to go online and create a free account. And you'll go in here and you add your username and password. Once you do that, you'll have full access to Screen Scraper. You can scrape your entire library with videos, manuals, album artwork, etc. If you want your build to be fully decked out like what you're seeing now, Go make a free Screen Scraper account and use it to scrape your collection. Even if you've used other scrapers, go make a Screen Scraper account and use them for all your scraping. Hey, this is a judgment-free zone, but I hate the bezels, so let's cut them off. All you've got to do to cut them off is go into your settings, go down to your game settings, and then scroll to decorations. Once you click on decorations, just click none, and it'll cut them off for every console and every collection. And then you can click auto to turn them back on. But let's cut it off, and let's see what the game looks like with them cut off versus what it looks like with it cut on. Ah, and look at that. No bezels. That's great. Just the screen. Exactly what I want to see when I'm playing my games. Just the screen with the game playing. But if you are the type of person that likes it, let's go back into settings. We'll go into game settings. We'll go down to decorations and we'll turn it back to auto and cut those God forbidden things back on. Oh, ho, 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 boy. We're gaming now, boys and girls. Yeah. 
that was how to cut on the bezels. Don't don't do that unless you're trying to show this off. And then you then that's a great time to do this. This is a function of Botticera that everybody should know. There are individual game settings. If you hold X or A instead of clicking X or A over a game, you can go into this whole other menu with tons and tons of options that you can customize. A big one here is the emulator at the very top once you go to advanced game settings. If you have any trouble with any games in any console, go into your advanced game settings per game and switch that emulator and try the game out. You'd be surprised. That saved me and a lot of other people I know a lot of trouble. Here's another look at some of the settings that you can see in the individual game settings. Going back into that same individual game settings menu will show you that you can add games to your favorites from there. And then that will add a custom collection onto your Bodice Air home screen that's called favorites. And then you can add as many games as you'd like into there. Now this last tip, it's it's legendary and you're lucky I'm telling you about it even though you could just Google it and you'd probably find it anyways, but it's Botticera Pro. Head over to your terminal, you type in curl L blank 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 Botticera Pro dash bash. I'll leave a little video here showing off a couple of things that you can do with it, but if you ever get time, go on to Google and Google Botticera Pro. Those people over there are doing great work. I don't know how they're doing it. I don't know what they're doing, but they're doing it. You can get YouTube, Chrome, Arch, Steam, 7-Zip. I don't even know what half that shit is, but you can get it and it works well. So I'll go over here and I will show you some of the stuff. See, see YouTube there. I got Yuzu there. I got Google there. I've got it all. 7-Zip over there in the corner and we'll go back and show you. I have a couple of the apps in my favorites. Yep, and there they are. So... Botticera Pro. I'll leave the commands here on the screen so you can add whatever you want. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Give me a like, a comment, and a subscribe if you knew all this stuff, if you didn't know anything, and if you just don't give a damn. We'll see you in the next video. If you're one of the 1 in 1,000 people who make it to this part of the video, watch one of these videos.